Are you ready to dive into the captivating world of Frida Kahlo? Get ready for a whirlwind of fascinating facts that will leave you inspired and amazed. Frida Kahlo was born on July 6, 1907. When Frida was about six years old, she got polio, a serious illness. Although she recovered, her right leg and foot were permanently damaged, causing her to limp. In 1922, Frida went to the famous National Preparatory School. Frida became friends with students who shared her passion for politics and learning. On September 17, 1925, Frida was in a terrible bus accident causing severe injuries. During her recovery, Frida discovered her love for painting. She created her first self-portrait, which marked the beginning of her artistic journey. In 1929, Frida married Diego Rivera, a famous Mexican muralist. Although Frida never considered herself a surrealist artist, she became friends with influential figures like André Breton, Marcel Duchamp, and Pablo Picasso. Frida's art gained recognition and she had exhibitions in various cities. Despite her ongoing health challenges, her popularity grew. In 1953, Frida had her first solo exhibition in Mexico. Even though she was bedridden, she attended the opening, arriving by ambulance. She celebrated with the attendees from her special bed. Frida Kahlo created many remarkable paintings where she had famous works like Frida and Diego Rivera, Henry Ford Hospital, The Two Fridas, and more. On July 13, 1954, Frida Kahlo passed away at her beloved Blue House. While the cause of her death is debated, she left a lasting legacy as an icon of female creativity. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey through the life and art of Frida Kahlo. But don't click away just yet. Stick around for more captivating content. Up next, we'll be diving into the fascinating world of Corky Lee on Fresberg Cartoon.